Hello everyone, my name is Castle Perfect and in this video we're going to go over the details of today's brand new event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. To kick things off, we have the second coming of the Mightiest Mark Pikachu in 7 star Raid Dance. The first time the Mightiest Pikachu appeared was back in February 24th until the 27th in 2023, which obviously is last year. If you happen to have fought and captured Pikachu back then, you won't be able to capture him again because the game limits all players to catch only one per save file. Its stats are identical to the last time he made his appearance, so this Pikachu specifically comes equipped with the Light Ball. An item specifically designed for Pikachu, and what it does is, it basically doubles Pikachu's attack and special attack stats while holding this item. Besides this multiplier, this Pikachu has maxed IVs and is fully EV trained in HP and special attack, making it a worthy opponent. It also ranges in size from 240 to 255, giving it a 1 in 16 chance of being eligible for the Jumbo Mark. Regardless, in this video I'm going to go over the best counter for the Mightiest Mark Pikachu and how you can defeat it with more than 50% time remaining on the timer. So Lorantis is definitely the best counter for this Pokemon, specifically because Lorantis is not a version exclusive Pokemon, it can be acquired by every single player who has either a copy of Pokemon Violet or a copy of Pokemon Scarlet. As per usual, this Pokemon needs to be a level 100, holding the Shell Bell item, its Terra type should be Grass, and its moves are Knock Off, Solar Beam, Leaf Storm, and Sunny Day. Now, I want to make a side note here, because the knockoff move is a TM move exclusively for those who bought the DLC expansion pack for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you did not buy the DLC, you won't have access to knockoff. So if you don't have access to knockoff, the best next thing would be Grassy Terrain. Its abilities should be contrary, it reverses any stat changes affecting the Pokemon so that attempts to boost its stats instead lower them and attempts to lower its stats will boost them. And that's the main reason why we're running Leaf Storm instead of anything else. Now when it comes to its EV spread, it should be 252 in Special Attack and 252 in HP. You want to give it obviously a Quiet Nature, which in turn will probably make it slower than Pikachu, but even a Modest Nature is fine too. Regardless, you will not be faster than Pikachu with this Pokemon, so it's all fine and dandy. So with this out of the way, let's go ahead and jump immediately into the demonstration video and I will show you exactly how you can defeat this Pikachu with more than 50% time remaining on the timer. Let's go!